Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I will be deep conditioning my hair because my hair is terrible right now. Um, like, yes, yeah, it's, it's curled fine. Like, half a, it's still wet. It hasn't really dried yet. But my hair, I hate when I get my hair flat ironed. Um, because it just smells like flat iron and I just hate I just hate that smell so it starts to really smell like that because it's been raining here um, for the last past week and so I just I just couldn't take it anymore so I was like oh I'm reverting back to curly so um yeah this is basically what I did so um this is not disclaimer this is not my full wash day routine is just something that I just had to do because I got to go run errands so I just I was kind of like in a rush or whatever but um yeah so this is what I came up with I just put my hair in a puff it's like my go-to style just puff I rarely do wash and goes because I just really don't have time honestly um so I just really don't and it, duh, that's why it's called a wash and go, but I just really don't have time. I just like to put my hair in a puff ball just to keep it out the way um, and just lay down my baby edges. So yeah, that's basically about it. So if you guys want to know how I achieved this look, just continue watching. Okay, so this is what my hair looks like. Um, yeah, I got my hair flared on, I want to say a week and a half ago. And this is basically what it looks like now. shower last night and it's just like puff ball so I think it's time to wash um I'm not baiting if I really want to just cut this all off and just start new but for right now I just think that it just needs some TLC because I had got my hair um flat ironed like a week and a half ago so yeah um that's what my hair looks like I got my ends trimmed um I'm just gonna go ahead and just do like my wash routine because um, I'm pressing on time because I have a nail appointment. So my holy grail, my go-to to keep my hair moisturized is as I am. Like I love this combination together. I just this is my go-to. So um, yeah, I just have to use this. So let me stop rambling and let me just go ahead because like I said, I'm crystal time. So yeah, let me go work my magic on this hair. Okay guys, so I just start off by washing my hair. I'm just drenching it in water right now. I'm making sure I get every strand of my hair because like I said, my hair smells yucky <laughs> since I got my hair flat iron. And I was going to co-wash, but I decided to use the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey um, shampoo. Because I had to shampoo my hair. I just couldn't co-wash it. So I just take a little bit and just put it in my hair. Making sure I, I get my um, edges really good. And just work it up into like a lather. Then I think I'll leave this on my head for maybe two two to three minutes but I'm just making sure I get it in there because like I said my hair smells just like flat iron so that's the reason why I decided to use the shampoo before I went in with a cold wash I'm going to go in with my co-wash, my favorite co-wash, and this is from As I Am. And I'm just smelling it because it smells so good. So I'm just going to take a good amount of it and just place it all over my head. Just 
making sure I have this in there. I'm also like massaging my hair too, just to make sure that it's good. And then now I'm gonna get my detangler and I'm gonna smooth on my hair. That's why the full wash is still on my head. Like I said, this is not my full uh, routine. I was in a rush, so that's basically why I'm just doing it like this. As you can see, my curls are defining. I love this product because it just makes my hair super soft. And it just defines my curls so good. So I'm going to continue to detangle my hair while I rinse everything out. and I'm using the Shea Moisture Killing One this one renewal and I'm just smelling it because it smells so good I'm just gonna get a little bit and I'm just gonna start putting on my hair and I'm not really sectioning off my hair just yet so I'm just putting this all around my hair before I do decide to start sectioning it off Look how defined my curls are. So now I'm just going to start sectioning off my hair and just twisting it. So it doesn't have to be like a neat twist because I'm just letting it set in my hair while it deep condition. And I'm just going to continue this out until I twist up all my hair. And I'm just going to place a plastic bag over my head and just let that let this sit for like maybe an hour so now i'm gonna go in with my favorite leave-in conditioner and this is the as i am leave-in conditioner and it smells really really good and it makes my hair so soft so i'm just gonna apply this all over my hair I'm just gonna detangle my hair and make sure I get all the kinks out. Now this part is totally optional, but I'm gonna start sectioning off my hair because I'm gonna be putting rollers in my hair. Transitioning instead of just doing.
the big chop for right now so I just want all my curls to be going basically the same way if that makes sense so like I said this is completely optional you guys don't have to do this but this is how I do it to make my curls just define a little bit better so I'm just going to continue to section off my hair and just put um I think there's some more leave-in conditioner on it and my oil and I'm just going to roll it up. to dry I'm gonna get some oil and just gonna put it on my fingertips just so I can place it on the rollers and take the rollers out so it'll be less frizzy and as I'm touching the back of my hair and on the sides it's not really dry but it's okay um I think it's still gonna turn out okay so that was my only issue with this style today so I'm just going to take all the rollers out and then I'm going to fluff my hair out. Now that my hair is all a little bit fluffed up. I'm gonna get my wide tooth comb and I'm just gonna brush my hair. Well, comb my hair up. I don't know why I keep saying brush. I'm gonna comb my hair up. And I'm gonna get some Eco Stylers and just put that on my edges. Put it all around my edges. And then I'm gonna get my brush. And now I'm gonna brush my hair up. <laughs> And now I'm going to get my hair tied. I'm going to tie it around. I'm not going to do this too tight, but just enough so my hair just sits perfectly on top. Good. And I'm making sure it's tucked in there. And I'm just going to fluff my hair out some more. My Y2 comb. Now it's time for baby edges. So I'm gonna lay my edges with this um, edge control. And that is it. Okay, guys, this is the finished look. I hope that you guys found this video helpful. Um, like I said, I'm rushing, and I just this is not really my deep condition days. Um, cause I do that. I try to do my deep conditions once a week, and I do a protein treatment every other week. So yeah, since I have my hair flat ironed, I just figured I'd just go ahead and just wash my hair and deep condition it. So I 
left my deep conditioner in honestly for maybe an hour because I was cleaning my house anyways so that's basically what I did um, these bags over here I've been shopping and I'm going shopping again so I'm gonna do um, a clothing haul in my next video and I figured I'll give you like a sneak peek of some of the stuff that I got um, look at this what it's so pretty and it has like the matching earrings I think I honestly want to wear these today but I think I'll save them for brunch tomorrow I have a brunch to go to tomorrow so I probably vlog I'm not really sure but yeah so um thanks again for watching this video and I will see you on my next video bye